Question 10. The chart shows the number of sunny days and the number of windy days in six months. Now the important thing to realise here is that we've got a key. So sunny days are light grey, windy days are dark grey. We've got the months across the bottom, May, June, July, August, September, October, and we've got the number of days up the side. Before we do any more, it's probably going to be a good thing to have a look at the scale up the side. Now, we're going from 0 to 10, and there are five mini gaps. So the question is, what is each mini gap worth? Well, if you've got a big gap of 10, and there are five mini gaps, 10 shared by 5 mini gaps is 2. So each mini gap is going up in 2s. So it goes 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. And we've got to bear that in mind later on. So let's look what questions we've got. Which months had more windy days than sunny days? So we're looking for which months had more windy days than sunny days. So windy days is dark grey. So the dark grey bar has got to be bigger than the light grey bar. So in May, is the dark grey bar bigger than the light grey bar? Yes, it is. So that one. In June, is the dark grey bar bigger? No. July, dark grey is not bigger. August, dark grey is not bigger. September, dark grey is not bigger. October, the dark grey bar is bigger. So in May and October, there are more windy days in dark grey than there are sunny days in light grey. And that is the answer to our first question. So it's May and October. May and October. At this point, it is worth putting out that it does say which months. It doesn't say how many months. So if you just put two there, you're not actually getting the question right because it, you've got to name the months, and it's May and October. Let's get a different colour for the second part of the question. It then says, how many months had more than 15 sunny days? So this one is how many? More than 15. Well, 15 is halfway between 10 and 20. So halfway between 10 and 20 is there. So what we could do is draw a line all the way across because that line represents 15. And what we need to do is count how many months have more than 15 sunny days. Well, sunny is the light grey bars. So May did, is below the line for sunny. So that one doesn't count. June is above the line. July is above the line for sunny, August is above the line for sunny, September is above the line for sunny, October is below the line for sunny. So we've got June, July, August and September that is above the line for 15 for sunny days. So that is four months. June, July, August, September, four months. So on the answer line we write four months. Now we need one more colour. Because there is one more part of the question. How many more sunny days than windy days were there in June? So how many more sunny days than windy days in June? So let's see what we can get from this. Well in June, the light grey bar for sunny is level with 20. So there were 20 sunny days. Let's write that down here. Windy days is the dark grey bar. Now windy days is level with this bit here. Now we need to know what this is. So remember we said earlier on that we we're going up in two. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten. This would be twelve, fourteen. There we've got fifteen, sixteen. So actually, the dark grey bar for June would be between 12 and 14, which would be 13. So windy days in June 
is 13. Now we're in a position to work it out. So how many more sunny days than windy days is there? Well, 20, take away 13, nothing take away 3, borrow 1, because you can't do it. 10 take away 3 is 7, and 1 take away 1, you can't do it. Well, you can do it, 0. So the final answer is 7. 20 take away 13 is 7. So there's your answers.